Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Rocky, Cinema Orc Games Comedy Rockies, and today we got a ton of new Black Ops 3 information. We got our first glimpses at the weapons in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, as well as we got our first glimpses at the Black Ops 3 paint shop or gunsmith, whatever you prefer to call it. Now I'll put all pictures on screen in the background, but before I go any further, don't forget to drop a subscription if you're new because I'm going to be covering all the latest and greatest Black Ops 3 news leading up to the release on November 6th, so stay tuned for that. Now the first weapon we're going to take a look at looks like a submachine gun, it is the VMP. Now it kind of looks like the Scorpion from Black Ops 1, I'm not too sure, but it does give me kind of a Scorpion vibe. Now some of the attachments that are going to be on it are the reflex sight, the grip, the laser sight, the sniper attachment, which we have no idea what that is, that's a whole new attachment, the adjustable stock, and FMJ. Now one thing I should point out is FMJ. I don't believe that's been in Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2, so FMJ is going to be making a return in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, so I'm very excited about that, I love that attachment, and that is going to be very helpful for the snipers when you're able to enable that on a sniper rifle. Now one more thing I should point out is that the P9 camo on this gun, now of course this is the Black Ops 3 paint shop, so you can put whatever camo you want on your gun, you can customize it to your liking, you can create your own camo, and it looks like on this one we see P9 as well as a red splash and a green splash. What that means, I have no idea. They're just trying to show off what you could do in the Black Ops 3 paint shop. Now going on to the next gun is going to be the ARAX. It looks like an AK-47 from MW2 or Black Ops 1. Now that's very exciting. I love to see the AK return. That's a fan favorite, definitely. The attachments on this one are the advanced sight, the foregrip, the quick draw, the fast mag, the adjustable stock, and FMJ. So of course FMJ is on this weapon as well. Now adjustable stock is making a return for SMGs and ARs alike. We did see it on the last gun they had adjustable stock and if we can put it on you know uh, submachine guns and ARs that of course means that stock is going to be an attachment and not a perk as well as on the AK-47 right here the AR AX we see fast mags. That means that there's not going to be sleight of hand it's going to be fast mags. Another attachment that we haven't seen since Black Ops 1 I believe so that's very interesting and of course the camo on this one's not too special it's just some green lines some pink and blue nothing too special they're probably very limited what they could do in the pre pre alpha going on to the next weapon we have the man o war this kind of reminds me of the commando from Black Ops 1 and if they're bringing this gun back I am gonna be very very happy because I loved the commando now one thing that might have stuck out to you guys is designed by rich or designed by rick in the bottom right hand of the corner is that a developer i have no idea that might be a character in the campaign i have no idea but it's very interesting we don't know what it means of course but we will get more information in the next coming days now the attachments on this one are the enhanced sight which of course is probably just an acog sight smj fast mags suppressor adjustable stock and foregrip Nothing too much different, we don't see any more new attachments like the sniper attachment, but regardless we did get to see some awesome new weapons, the Man of War, the ARAX, and the Scorpion looking M or VMP, sorry about that. And then of course we got some glimpses at the camo, of course on the Man of War we got the orange, green, pink, and blue camo, now I don't know what it means, that's just a glimpse at what you could do in the camo shop, but it's very cool regardless, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, I'm on my way to 1.5 thousand subscribers, any help you guys could give me would be much appreciated, I'm out for the day guys, peace.